Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving. Welcome back, Aries. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. It's always a pleasure to have you all here with me. And welcome to the ones that are new here as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today, Aries. And shout out to the beautiful souls that comment and your feedback down below. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you, all right? Welcome back. Come on in. We're going to talk about this thing called love, all right? We're going to see about the person that's on your mind, how they feel about you, and then we're going to see what they want to say. What are they feeling right now? What are some things they may want to get off their chest? And then we'll close out with some word advice for you, Aries, all right? So no further ado, Rams. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Lord and angels, ancestors, thank you for another day and another opportunity to evolve. What do we have for Aries placements? What's going on in Aries love life? What is the energy that is surrounding Aries at this time? Show me the person here that is on Aries mind. What do we need to know? All right, Aries, let's go. Okay. All right, so the first card we have out, Aries, is the Knight of Cups. So you have a love offer coming in here from a water sign for some of you all. Um, this could be here a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. All right, this also talks about an apology as well. Some of y'all, this person could be coming in and apologizing to you or in the space of opening up emotionally as they come towards you with an offer, expressing the way how they feel, okay? And then we have the Ten of Wands here. This is indicating that there has been some type of burden that has been finally now put to an end, okay? And then we have the Five of Swords here, air elements here. Some of y'all, this person could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, or they could be a fire sign like yourself with the Ten of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy here, uh, Leo and Aries energy as well, all right? Wow. So let's see what's going on. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. This person could also be a Scorpio or a Libra with the Knight of Cups energy. Let's see what is this communication that's coming in from this person here that's in your energy here. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Again, this could be a water sign, a fire sign, or an air sign here. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups here. Let's see what's going on. All right, the knight, ooh, okay, the king of cups here. Someone is definitely going to express to you how they feel about you. Someone is in love with you, or they're realizing these feelings that they have for you is more than what they may would have imagined or thought right now. Someone is realizing that they're falling more in love with you here. Clarify the king of cups. The world cards. So I'm also picking up here. Some of you all, this could have been someone that you ended things with. This could have been someone that you were in a commitment with. And things became very overwhelming or a burden to you. Uh, there was a lot of conflicts, arguments, not being able to be on the same page with each other. And I see that that cycle or chapter here has ended. And someone, again, is wanting to come back and apologize higher for, for their behavior pattern here with the Five of Swords energy here. That's for some of you all as well. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Mm, the Ten of Cups, yeah. Some of y'all, this could have been family. Uh, this could have been someone who you had a family with. This could have been the mother or the father of your child here with the King of Cups energy here. This could have been a spouse for some of you all. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely a commitment or a couple here. All right, we got the Queen and the King of Cups out here. This could have been also a Leo. Clarify the Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords energy here. The Five of Swords energy could be Aquarius. 
Wow, the cherry card in fucking reverse. This person doesn't want to let go, Aries. Some of y'all, this person here could have been a counselor. Whoever this person here is that is causing conflicts and is having a difficult time with letting you go, the chariot is in reverse. Normally, when the chariot is in the upright, that talks about someone that's ready to move forward. They're relocating. They're removing themselves from the environment or the home or the city that they were in, and they're relocating. They're traveling to somewhere new. And in this case, with the Five of Swords coming out and clarified by the chariot in reverse, someone does not want to let you go. Someone is trying to keep you from leaving a certain place or environment. All right. So again, this could have been your ex. Okay. This could have been the ex-mother or the ex-father of your child here. Uh, someone that you were in a commitment or a relationship with. And this is why I feel like they're wanting to come in and apologize. But see, the good thing here is, is that this was a karmic cycle. This was a karmic test with the world cards here. And you've passed it and it has now closed. But someone doesn't want to close out this chapter here with you is a thing. This is the crazy part about it. So let's see how do you feel, Aries. How does Aries feel about this energy here that has come out today? How does Aries here feel? Wow, you feel frustrated, fucking conflicted by it. Uh, because again, the wands energy talks more inner self and the swords, for the five of swords, talks more about the external. And the wands energy is more the internal. So internally, this is conflicting your energy here. It's causing you to be off in other areas because of the conflicts that this person is trying to cause externally around you in your space, in your circle, in your environment. You're not happy with the choices that this person made is why you again decided to put the burdens down here. You're no longer going to take on this person's burdens and have to carry them all by yourself. And that's the issue here. This person is used to you, Aries, maybe doing all the work in the relationship, taking care of all the business, having to take overloads of things and responsibilities in a relationship, and yet this person doesn't want to do that. So they know with you leaving or stepping out of this relationship, they know that they now have to be <laughs> the person to take on all the responsibilities. And it's like you're taking on your responsibilities and plus this person's responsibilities, and it's not for you to carry. And some of y'all have realized that. And you knew by you putting this situation to an end, it was going to, of course, cause some conflicts. Wow. Yep. Look at that. The Ten of Swords. You decide to, you're done, done with this situation here. Not only have you put this burdens down here, but the fact that this has been a very painful ending with the Ten of Swords due to several incidents of betrayal is what you're no longer going to tolerate here. Yeah. And this is someone that you definitely loved. You had feelings for this person. You know, the Six of Cups is here. That was a difficult thing for you to do. But, you know, the pain outweighed the love. Justice. And you were treated unfair in this relationship or commitment here. And because of that, these are why things had to end it here. And do know that you will get your justice. The justice card is here. So you will be getting treated fair due to this situation in the near future. All right, wow. So let's see what this person here wants to say. Let's use my raw tarot index cards here. Let's see what this person here wants to say on behalf of everything that has been channeled to out today. Let's see what this person here wants to say. What does this person here want to say? Wow. Okay, so we have, I am trying... So some of you, I feel like this apology that we mentioned earlier or this person coming back to communicate to you, again, this could be a water sign, an air sign, a fire sign here, all right? They want you to know that they're trying. This is what the communication, I feel like, 
was going to be about or referencing to here, okay? Yeah, look at that. I will make it all up for you, okay? So this person is wanting to come in and make up everything, but for some of y'all, I'm sure it's gonna be too late. That's why this person is trying to stop you from leaving because they want to try to make it all up to you and let you know that they're trying here. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, look at that. This card obviously wanted to be shown. Fuck that I'm fighting for you. Yeah, that's why that cherry card is in reverse again. It keeps referencing me back to that third party. Ooh, third party. Now, I seen it right here, but I didn't think of it to say it out loud. But obviously, that's very significant here, Aries. Okay, so if this person put you in a third party situation here, all right, this is this person indicating that they don't want to do that anymore. I'm sure that has been happening several times. I'm sure you may. This was not the first time you found out that this person put you in that situation because we have the Ten of Swords here with the third party. Okay. Wow. So let's close out Aries and let's get you some word advice. Before I do that, I want to see what is the potential outcome here. Wow, Aries, if the reading here so far has resonated for you, smash that like button. All right, that really helps the channel to grow and evolve. And it definitely helps get the message out in the algorithm. So if you're listening in today, uh, do me a favor, please, and contribute to that by hitting the like button. Okay. And if you would love to book a personal reading, Aries, to see what more is the next steps here or what's next in love for you, since you've ended this cycle here, you're welcome to email me and we can set you up with a personal reading, okay? What is the potential outcome here for this circumstance and connection here with this person? What is the potential outcome here for Aries? Wow, you got new love coming in, Aries. Oh my goodness. I definitely want to see what that's all about, okay? This could be, again, with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, but you have a new love offer coming in is what the potential outcome here is. Now, again, if you would love to book a personal reading, I would love to dive deeper into this energy to see exactly who this is or when is this coming here away. All right, again, my email details is down below in the description box. Wow, I was not expecting that card to come out, Aries. So some of y'all are not gonna be expecting this person or this new love offer that's coming in here. But anywho, because this has already passed, right, for most of you all. So some of y'all, you've moved on um, and you're meeting new people, okay? So let's close out and get you some word advice. What word advice can Aries take away from this reading here today? What word advice your golden angels can Aries take away from the reading? Wow, we got look for a sign, all right? So uh, the way that you're being guided here, as you can notice with the hand coming out the clouds, your golden angels and your ancestors is trying to point you towards the right direction when it comes to new love, okay? So make sure that you're paying attention to whatever uh, synchronicities, maybe repetitive numbers, repetitive colors, animals, whatever is catching your attention and you're seeing it repetitively, that is a sign, okay? So look into it, Google it, all right? And stay in tune with yourself, all right? Wow, Aries. So that completes your reading today. Again, I definitely hope this message gave you some clarity, confirmation for yourselves. Definitely if so, again, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome. We would love to have you a part of our soul family. And again, don't forget to set your notification bells when I do go live on this channel for all Zodiac sign readings, all right? Thank you all so much, Aries. And I definitely look forward to seeing where this energy goes in the near future. I wish you and this opportunity here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.